hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are keeping safe um welcome to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in to all my new subscribers welcome to our family and to the regulars my girl my guy you know how we do it we're surviving here anyway guys um on today's video i'm just going to be talking about a few things that you can do to show support to someone who's going through their breast cancer treatment so i've come up with a short list of some of the things that i feel like they're very important for you to show your love show your kindness and be there for your friend your family member your colleague or whoever is uh going through um their breast cancer treatment so here goes so the first one uh that i always say is you need to pray for the person who is going through their treatment it's very important for you to reach out to a higher power uh reach out to the universe in order for the universe to release healing to give that person strength to give that person hope as well so that they would be able to pull through and fight this um, de deadly disease and unfortunately there's no way i can explain this because i don't think we, you you can conquer uh breast cancer without a higher power even if you say you know what they the, the person has the best um medical team you need to pray for the medical team as well pray for the medical team as well you need to pray that you know whatever plan that they have for your uh person that you know it goes through successfully and you also pray for that person to um have strength within them to go through all the treatments because it's not easy emotionally mentally financially it's really really not easy so you need to constantly uh pray for them okay and then um the second thing that i've um stated is that you need to educate yourself on breast cancer in order for you to gain more understanding and more insight on what your friend is going through this will help you to be able to relate to them on a personal level and it will definitely you know show that you care about that person and you love that person and also it would help you to avoid asking a lot of questions imagine if you're going through something and somebody's continuing asking you what is this what is that what is that it's not nice because already that person would be answering a lot of questions to to um her medical team and all that and then imagine for them to be answering questions from somebody that is close to, to them so it's very important for you to read up and if you need clarity obviously ask that person that oh i read somewhere about this um is it really true can you clarify for me you know that would actually make that person feel like very loved and appreciated and special the third thing that I've uh, written down is that you need to try and help with day-to-day -day tasks because when you're going through your um, cancer treatment, you feel tired, you feel nauseous, you feel weak, you are depressed, you have a lot of medical appointments. So if you can take your friend's uh, car to the car wash, please do that's really supportive if you can go and do their shopping you can do that if you can clean their home you can do that you know those little things that mean a lot they definitely um mean a lot i know during my my time um when i was going through my breast cancer treatment some of my friends would visit me and just clean up my place iron my clothes take my car to the car wash and I really appreciated that because I knew that I had I have more time to myself to rest because the treatment trust me it's really really brutal and the next point is that um you can offer to take them for their medical appointments because sometimes you find that somebody doesn't have a car or they are feeling very weak and they're not in a good state to drive so you you can 
offer and say friend when is your appointment i can come and pick you up you know and drop you off and yeah and i can wait for you if you have time to wait for them while they are doing their treatment or you can then pick them up later once they are done with their treatment so i think that's really really helpful in order for that person to get you know support with ways to get to their medical appointments the next point is um that you need to listen listen to your friend because sometimes when someone is going through something they just want somebody to talk to they don't need advice they don't need your opinion they just want someone to listen to them and if you have time and a good heart you will definitely offer you know what a listening ear to your friend and just assure them that you are there for them you are there to listen to them if they feel like they have a breakdown and they're not okay they just need someone to talk to and yeah just make sure that you you give them that platform to have somebody to talk to i know there are professionals that they can talk to but sometimes you you just want to talk to someone on a one-to-one -one personal level which which is really really helpful i know one of my my friends that i was working with even today when i feel like you know what i need to talk to someone that girl she is always there whether i am going through good times or i am going through emotional times she will always say you know what lauren i'm there to listen to you i am here to to listen and you know if i'm asking for advice then she would give me advice and yeah that's really really helpful talking helps actually that's the point of this one talking helps and the next one is to um help with uh financial support so i know this is a big ask from anyone because we all have financial responsibilities but financial support doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pay for their treatment or anything like that because cancer treatment is very expensive but if you are blessed and you have capacity to help someone with their uh, payments for their cancer treatment then definitely offer to pay one session for for their uh, treatment or buy buy their medication or whatever but you know what you can do is to offer to buy like food offer to buy uh their fruits offer to fill up their tank offer to buy their electricity so that whatever money that they normally use for those things they can channel it to their treatment so if you can and you are blessed and you are financially doing well i would advise you to help financially in whatever way that you can and the next one is to be present so be present and always keep in touch with someone who is uh, going through cancer treatment being present means that you call you text especially a few days after they go for their treatment that's when the medication kicks in and the horrible side effects um start and they would definitely need support and love and people to be there for for him or her so those are the main points that i've written down um that uh, you can do to support someone who's going through their treatment also another important thing is you can help if you work together or you're studying together you can help with some of the work tasks because sometimes you know with chemo um it can be so overwhelming and you your your cognitive your, your cognitive um thinking your processes your memory is affected so if you are able to help with their work then just offer oh friend i can do this i can do this spreadsheet for you i can do whatever that i can do for you you know if you can and if you know your your management allows you to help each other with work tasks that would really 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 be grateful so those are some of the thing uh things that i've um come up with that can actually help and these are most of the things that the people that are close to me definitely did for me 
and yeah guys thank you so much for watching my videos i really 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 appreciate you know when you're studying something new and you're talking about a personal journey it can be quite difficult and nerve-wracking but you guys have been here and you've been supporting you've been commenting you've been sharing you've subscribed thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much i pray that each and every one of you is blessed and you learn a lot from this channel and if you know that there's somebody who's going through their treatment and they need someone to talk to someone to you know give them hope someone to give them strength i'm always here just comment down below to, and say i have a friend who needs uh support and she needs someone who has gone through this journey I'll definitely reach out to you and either send you my email or my personal personal number privately obviously so that we can support each other thank you so much for watching my survivors i hope i'm going to see you on my next video please don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and take care of yourselves tada for now bye